Well, Stellantis could sell the Maserati brand and Ferrari could pick it up. But would that be an L for Stellantis, but a big W for Maserati? What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to another video where 2020 for Stellantis, well, is starting off a little slow, a little less well than expected because profits have almost half. Negative 48% to 5.6 billion euros due to the weak shipments here in the United States, which is 18% a key region for the group's profits. And with that said, Stellantis could sell off underperforming brands. Boss Carlos Tavares warned after the automotive powerhouse posted heavily downturn profits for the first half of the year. He said, if they don't make money, we will shut them down. We cannot afford to have brands that do not make money. Now, let's talk about making money and where Maserati fits. It was said by the group's financial director, Natalie Knight, that there could be an evaluation in the future on which is the best house for Maserati. Now, with obligatory clarification that, in quotes, for now, we are committed to creating as much value as possible for the brand, end quotes. Now, these words were spoken in response to a journalist question asking the comment or rumors about a hypothetical sale of the Modena brand. On the one hand, make the option official for the first time. On the other hand, they reinvigorated the rumors that have been circulating since the beginning of the year about a hypothetical return of Maserati to the Ferrari orbit. Now let's break this down because the Trident brand among 14 Stellantis brands is the one who's in the most difficulty. In the first half of 2024, those sales numbers fell from 15,300 in 2023 to 6,500. Revenues and therefore net profits have decreased accordingly. Now there is a market problem, but above all there is a product problem that is missing due to the incomplete industrial strategy where the Ghibli, Levante, and Quattroporte have gone out of production, but have not been replaced. And with sales of the Gricale being insufficient and the sports cars such as the MC20 and Grand Cabrio alone obviously can't compensate for the lack of new products in the range, well, Maserati has to fill that gap. Now in April, CEO Tavares denied the intention to sell Maserati, admitting however that he had received some proposals from Chinese companies. He said, I have received proposals in the past years, but I have no intention of selling the brand. But with this new information, things could change and the Marinello prancing horse could be knocking at the door. And with the focus on sales here in North America, which has performed below expectations, Tavares said, in quotes, we consider the job is done in Europe, but the job is not done in the U.S., and we are going to take care of that work. Could Ferrari take the helm? What happens if we get another Pininfarina design with Ferrari-esque styling, another healthy V8 engine? Could this be a complete rehaul for Maserati if they go to the Ferrari brand? Will Ferrari be interested? This could be something that can turn out really good for the brand or it could be really bad. You guys let me know down in the comments below. What do you guys think? Should Stellantis sell Maserati and should Ferrari be the buyers? What will Maserati need to do in order to boost its sales during its transition here in the US? Drop those comments down below. Now, if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up, but make sure you guys subscribe to the channel and click the notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, we will talk to you guys in the next one. Peace.